everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation. So, let's get started. Problem. Solve dy by dx plus y cos x plus sin y plus y by sin x plus x cos y plus x equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. dy by dx plus y cos x plus sin y plus y by sin x plus x cos y plus x equals to 0. Consider as equation 1. Now you can reduce the given differential equation in m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. Okay. So, for that purpose, we'll take the second term to RHS and get minus of y cos x plus sin y plus y by sin x plus x cos y plus x. This equals to sin x plus x cos y plus x into dy equals to minus of y cos x plus sin y plus y into dx. Okay. Then you can write this as sin x plus x cos y plus x into dy. Now take this to LHS, you'll get plus y cos x plus sin y plus y into dx equals to 0. Okay, also you can write it as, we'll write the first term, firstly, we'll write the first term, y cos x plus sin y plus y into dx, the term containing differential dx, and next we'll write the term containing differential dy, that is sin x plus x cos y plus x into dy equals to 0, which is all m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form, right? Which is of m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. So by comparing these two, we will get m equals to y cos x plus sin y plus y and n equals to sin x plus x cos y plus x where okay this is your m and this is your n if Partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Then we can say that the given differential equation or the reduced differential equation is an exact equation. Okay. Consider the reduced one as 2. Now we'll find the partial derivative of m with respect to y. This equals to dou y dou y of m y cos x plus sin y plus y. Here we are doing partial derivative with y with respect to y. So we'll treat cos
cos x as constant. That is the term containing x as constant. This is equals to do by do i of y cos x plus do by do i of sin y plus do by do y of y is equals to constant into partial derivative of y with respect to y plus partial derivative of sin y plus partial derivative of y with respect to y is equals to cos x into you can write this as do y by do y plus do by do y of sin y plus do y by do y is equals to cos x into partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 plus sin y derivative with respect to y is cos y plus Partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1 is equals to cos x plus cos y plus 1. Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y equals to cos x plus cos y plus 1. We'll find the partial derivative of n with respect to x is equal to dou by dou x of n sin x plus x cos y plus x. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so y will be treated as constant. Also, the term containing y will be treated as not the term, the function containing y will be treated as constant. So, here cos y is treated as constant. This equals to dou by dou x of derivative of first term plus derivative of second term plus derivative of third term. This equals to dou by dou x of sin x Plus, your cos y is constant, right? So, you can write this as constant into derivative of x plus dou by dou x of x. Okay. We know the derivative of sin x is cos x equals to cos x plus constant cos y into we can write this dou by dou x of x as dou x by dou x okay dou x by dou x plus dou x by dou x okay this is equals to cos x plus cos y into derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus derivative of x with respect to x is 1 is equal to cos x plus cos y plus 1. Therefore, partial derivative of n with respect to x equals to cos x plus cos y plus 1. cos x plus cos y plus 1. Fine. So here do m by do y equals to do n by do x. Therefore, do m by do y equals to 
do n by do x equals to cos x plus cos y plus 1. Since partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, from this we can say that equation 2 is an exact equation. Or you can write equation 1 is an exact equation. Okay. Fine. Since the given equation is an exact equation, so we need to find the general solution to the given differential equation, right? Given differential or given exact differential equation. We know that the general solution of exact equation is integral over x m into dx plus integral of terms of n free from x into dy equals to constant c. Okay. So, firstly we will find this integral. Integral over x m into dx. That is integrating m with respect to x treating y as constant. Okay. So, this equals to integral of m y cos x plus sin y plus y into dx is equals to so here y is treated as constant so this function containing y is also treated as constant and this y is also treated as constant and here also y treated as constant okay so now we can split the integration or integral to integral y cos x dx plus integral sine y dx plus integral y dx now let's write the constants outside the integral then. These are the constants, right? You need to write outside the integral. So you can write the first integral as y integral cos x into dx plus sine y integral dx plus y integral dx. Okay. So this becomes y into integral cos x dx is sin x plus sin y into integral dx is x plus y into integral dx is x. Is equals to y sin x plus x sin y plus x y. Okay. Fine. Now we'll find the terms of integral of terms of n free from x into dy. Okay. You are having n equals to sin x plus x cos y plus x. So here we don't have any n which is free from x. Right. We have all the terms containing x. So terms of n free from x is 0 into t1 equals to 0. Therefore, the general solution is the result obtained from integral over x m into dx that is y sin x plus x sin y plus x y 
plus terms of in the result obtained from integral of terms of m free from x into dy is 0 plus 0 equals to c. Therefore, the general solution of the exact equation is y sin x plus x sin y plus x y equals to c. So, we have seen a problem from exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.